Hey everybody, this is MG Vids back with some more This Means War. I'm in the process of taking my command center up to level 4. I've um, got my sentry towers, at least one of them up to level 3. I've upgraded you know, my bunkers and vehicle depot for defense. And right now I'm finishing... Or I'm upgrading my supply storage as well, but finishing up these troop... Uh, army troops. So let's just go ahead and finish this out so we can make a run on some noobs and grab some more resources. I do have this wall out here and I'm thinking I might add like a second wall with landmines behind it or maybe put them more walls more diagonal really to help try to funnel uh, enemy troops into where my towers are but either way I haven't worried about putting on the side yet I've got you know coverage out on either either side and I think you know once the command center is leveled up I'll be able to have be able to get additional defenses, but I do need to get landmines out there. It just sucks, you know, upgrading a couple buildings, and then you need an engineer to go ahead and build one little chunk of wall. Uh, let's see, this guy does not have an airfield, and thankfully he put his supply depots right at the very front for us. His resource stuff is way at the vehicle depots all the way out to the left. That's interesting. See that? Okay. So maybe what we do, we'll go after this guy since he doesn't have air. We'll push our tanks down the left side, and we'll send all of our grunts. I'm going grunt heavy now. This is one of the things go, I've been doing. Go. I kind of like it. Uh, big wave of grunts. Standing by. Hold the line. Send Come our on. tanks Hold with our in. rocket guys right here, boss. up the left side after that vehicle depot. We'll send all of our anti-infantry stuff here up the center. It's like grunts and Humvees up the center. Uh, tanks and rocket guys up the uh, right hand side, up the left hand side to deal with the vehicle depot. Tanks would definitely help uh, get rid of sentry towers, but I want to make sure I get rid of this vehicle depot, which is now gone. So now anything else we can send up up the center. Yeah, I'm running like 16 grunts, which is kind of excessive, but at the same time, they just push the line so quickly, and I want to grab enough resources in order to, uh, put all these guys in that, uh, in order to, to level them up. Now, their cost will go up, but it's actually been my most helpful unit as I've been playing through here, and really, I want to be able to get that, uh, there's an objective where you get some additional radioactive stuff for defeating an opponent with just grunts. So I think if after I level them up at least once, uh, we'll go ahead and try to take someone down with just grunts here, which would be kind of cool. So not bad. He didn't really have anything major. Once that command center is done, I'm going to pull out an airfield because I want to be able to start taking people out that have helicopters. It's just right now I'm nowhere near set up to be able to deal with that. But we'll reload and go here. I do wish, though. See, I want to say, like, if when you play Clash of Clans, you can build the wall out without using one of your builders. Um, whereas here, you know, to build another chunk of the wall, you need to you need to use them. One thing I didn't realize until I upgraded as well is going from like level four to level five on my red mercury collectors was huge. It made such a big difference in the amount of resources. Like I woke up this morning and refreshed it, and you know each one had twenty something thousand. Whereas before that, there were only six, six thousand apiece. So there's just a, such a huge jump up, going from four to five. That I wish I just would have done it a lot sooner. I was trying to upgrade sentry towers and add more uh, troop areas, but should have just done it a lot faster. Let's go. I don't even worry about a hacker because if I've demolished the base, it doesn't really matter. I suppose if I have enough slots eventually, uh, they'll be good to have. But right now, not worth it. Alright, take the six, or use six to get our troops ready. Then let's think about this here. We need to find somebody with a lot of red mercury so we can get the grunt upgrade good running because that's going to run me 75,000 red mercury. So 
So let's go out there and see what we can find. See what we can do here. Mm, that's a good little interesting defense. Uh, with helicopters, so I'm going to pass on this one so I don't get completely wrecked. That, that would not go well. I'm just not set up yet to do that. This I am set up to deal with. Probably. Infantry down the right side. So, the vehicle depot is the back center. I kind of feel like I'm going to just push all the grunts over here on the right. And try to overwhelm at least one of these what you got out there? bases initially. My crew is ready, sir. Get two tanks in here. I'm going to save the Humvee so that when this other wave kind of basically runs around me, for duty. Up and ready that's to where go. I'm going to push my vehicles at. Sir. Go, go, go. Now they're going to get smoked, but. Alright, lost that fight pretty quickly. Wait, 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 wait. Tank. And grunts. And rockets. What's up? Out of tension, sir. I've been known to break things. Let's do this. Out of tension, sir. Get the one Humvee out there. Need to deal with this vehicle depot, but there we go. That vehicle's done. Get the other Humvee out there. Another Humvee out there. Two grunts. Sentry tower against vehicle. Little bit of a fire fight here. Alright, so we got the right side of the sentry tower out. Now let's see if we can get a push here. And knock out the uh, the other infantry bunker area. Gassed up and ready to go. You got out there. All the grunts. And the Humvee. Now we can pretty much just shoot straight center. Reinforce along the whole way. I suppose having my alliance reinforcements might help, but that's okay. I mean, you typically get grunts from people anyway, or little Humvees. At least getting rid of the right side kind of reduces what I need to worry about. But now I'm just caught in a crossfire between the vehicle depot, a rocket tower, and the sentry tower, which is now gone, thankfully. Drop that tank. I just need to be able to push the line up. What's up? At the ready. Come on, get through here, get some of this red mercury before time goes out. Right here, boss. Attention, She's sending sir. a hacker on me. He is sending a hacker on me. Alright, there we go. Now we're into the base. A little nasty, but we're in. What's up? Tank division. I'll do my best, sir. Oh. Get on this wall. That's why I'm thinking about going double wall, especially you know, since I've been upgrading my sentry towers. I have that extra range, so if somebody's raiding my base, I could definitely uh, cause a lot more damage, or slow them down getting through, you know, especially if you layer it as well with the landmines where I use, you know, bombs when I'm playing uh, Clash of Clans. Alright, looks like we're going to clear out like almost 4k of red mercury, so that's pretty good. Don't need to send any more grunts, but gotta take out some of these bigger people that have uh Ah, ran out of time. That have the uh 
helicopters because some of those guys will have, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 red mercury that I've seen so far. And I'm sure, you know, as those of y'all that are much deeper in the game are running into much larger potential to steal red mercury in supply. But SMG Vids cranking through two so far, two little base raids. Uh, I'm going to go back, keep upgrading the base, but waiting for the command center upgrade. Then we'll come back with some more uh, gameplay here once we have the additional unit unit ability. So until then, uh, hey, keep a lookout for the other gameplay and first looks we're bringing to YouTube. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and uh, give me some feedback on uh, on this series and also what you're doing that's really successful because that would help me out. Until next time, thanks everybody.